Oh, baby! It's fucking hot! Ah! Oh, my God! Come on, lady. Like you've never seen this before? Huh, maybe you haven't. Hey, everybody. So I want to give you an update. So just pop this beer out of the fridge. And it's nice and cold. Oh, yeah. So just an update on uh, <laughs> dealing with this heat spell and dealing, dealing with this year. And I got to say, this year has been my worst year I've ever had on a road. You know, I've been on a road five years now in my sixth year. And this has been the worst. It's been the worst for fishing, weather, dealing with people, prices of mechanics and food and gas. It's, this year has been absolutely horrible. It's not easy living on a road anymore. So... Anyway, so this heat spell, man, is kicking my ass. It's just sucking everything out of me, mentally and physically. It's been a month. And for a whole month now, I've been hitting, you know, that whole, right there at that 100 degree mark. A couple of days, it'd be 98 and so, and then I'm up into 103, 104. And it's almost every day like that for a month. As, as it just sucks the energy out of you. Uh, don't even feel like cooking. Uh, it's horrible. Eh, but what are you going to do? We're making the best of it. And hopefully uh, I can get some fishing in soon. But it's just too hot to fish. Here in Montana, they got the Hural's call. So it is, you're not allowed to fish during the day because everything is so hot. It's bad for the fish. Yeah. So and it's not, and the fish, it makes the fishing just suck. Yeah, so like right now, it's 104 degrees here in Montana. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> it's like that every day. And uh, when I came, was in um, uh, Oregon, that whole state was just roasting hot. And right now, it is like burning down. There's so many forest fires there, it's ridiculous. And uh, the, every, the whole time I was there, every day was in the hundreds. Then I got into Washington State for a short time before I got into Montana. And I got into that higher desert kind of area there. And I had two days of 110 in the shade. Oh, it was ridiculous. Ah, it was horrible. <laughs> a lot of cold beer was drunk that day. So I'm here in Montana. And now it's just dealing with uh, uh, mechanics and uh, the pricing of uh, just the food the food has gone up so much it's ridiculous and everything else the gas prices it's harder and harder to live on a road it was five years ago it was a piece of cake and also dealing with people people's attitude has changed absolutely 100 percent in the last five years we're divided we're full of hate it's, 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 we're just nasty. Kindness is kind of going off somewhere, being nice. Nobody gives a crap about anything anymore. Ah, I don't know what's happening. I'm not happy about it. But we're trying to make the best of it, live on the road here, and let's see what happens. So that's our rant. Hopefully the fishing will pick up. Hopefully this heat spell will break. Hopefully in a couple more days. And uh, we'll get some fishing in. And don't forget... Never stop listening to rock and roll. Never stop exploring. And we'll see you on the river in cooler temperatures. Rostobia.